Hey, this is Joe Jackson, Outside Magazine's gear guy. And I'm in Gold Hill, Oregon at the Gold Hill Whitewater Park on the Rogue River to test Dagger's new crossover boat, the Katana. They're marketing it as a boat that should perform well in both whitewater and flatwater. This isn't a new idea, the crossover boat, but I'm really interested to see how Dagger does it. Today we're gonna to be testing three main things. One, how it handles in flat water. Two, how it handles in white water. And three, how it works as an overnight kayak. These are the three things that Dagger says this boat's gonna do extremely well. I'm particularly excited to test this boat because while I've been boating for about eight years, I'm not really getting on in class four or five white water that much anymore. I'm more of a class three, four guy and I really like overnights. So I have a feeling this is gonna be a great boat for me. One thing I was wondering about a boat that's this stable and this wide is if I'd be able to roll it easily. Not the easiest boat to roll in the world, but impressive for how wide this boat is. In terms of speed, it was fast, but it wasn't as fast as other 10-foot boats are. Another thing was the tracking. It was good, not great, again, but it was excellent once I dropped the skeg. And dropping the skeg was incredibly easy. All I did was just pull this rope and it went down. I was able to pull it up. I actually found myself in a situation in some of the more shallow places where I had to pull it up really quickly and it was easy. I like a simple design on a drop skeg like this. It usually means it's less likely to break when you need it. Now comfort is where this boat really excelled. Dagger's Contour Ergo outfitting system just makes you absolutely fit inside this thing like a glove. This boat had excellent accessories as an overnight boat. It had ample gear storage in the back with this hatch. And in just the back, I could have put more than enough for a three-day trip for myself. Now, if you're going to be taking a multi-day trip that has a lot of portages, you need to keep weight in mind. Partially because of the outfitting, which is incredibly comfortable, you pay for it with a lot more weight. This boat, completely unpacked, is around 50 pounds, so just keep that in mind. All in all, I had a great time in the Katana today. I'd suggest it for any paddler. For the beginner, it's super stable, so it's going to inspire confidence. It also works really well in flat water, just in case you don't end up getting that much into white water. Now for the intermediate or advanced paddler, it's gonna be an awesome boat for overnight paddling trips, uh, mainly in that kind of class three-ish range, of which there are a ton of iconic, beautiful rivers in America. Think Middle Fork of the Salmon, think Lower Rogue, also think Grand Canyon. This boat would be awesome for any one of those trips. 